Time now for Fantasy on Ice with Pete Jensen and Nick Alberga. Guys, take it away. Thanks, CJ. Yeah, we're taking a fan question here right off the top. Let's drop the puck. We're excited about Nick Schmaltz's seven-point game over the weekend. And Ethan on Instagram is asking whether Schmaltz, who's still sparsely rostered in Yahoo leagues, is worth an ad right now. And Nick, the answer is yes, because he was on a tear even before this streak. He has 26 points in his past 19 games. Unequivocally would be my answer as well. Shades of Sam Gagne from 2012 and that eight-point night against <laughs> Chicago. You look at this file right now. He's been on complete fire for a while. In fact, I did some digging. That's what we do over at NHL Fantasy. We throw the stats sometimes. 24 goals, uh, 65 points in the last 88 games for Nick Schmaltz. And he's playing on the first line right now with Travis Boyd um, and Clayton Keller, who's been an unheralded story as well for Arizona PD. It'll be interesting to see what the Coyotes do at the deadline because Schmaltz is heating up and he's got four more years left on his contract after this season. So definitely an attractive target in fantasy and reality. Second fan question, Nick, are the Wild facing a goaltending problem at the surface? I think we can say yes. Do you have any faith that Kapo Kakinen and or Cam Talbot can bounce back from this pretty brutal stretch? Well, short answer, Pete, uh, not right now. They've started 23 goals in the past five games. I think certainly from a fantasy point of view, I think you have to be looking elsewhere. Either guy's delivering. Minnesota's really, really struggling defensively. I think there's a couple options, thankfully, for fantasy owners. Vitek Vanacek seems to have grabbed the number one job here with the Washington Capitals. Spencer Knight back up. He'll start tonight for the or against the Buffalo Sabres, I should say, for the Florida Panthers. Um, and Antti Ront is a deeper look, of course, Freddie Anderson's day-to-day -day right now, Pete. I actually dropped Kakin in and picked up Spencer Knight in one of my keeper leagues today. Uh, so I wanted to get your thoughts on that for sure. But Minnesota, uh, right now, the season at large, tied for the 10th worst team save percentage in the NHL. Only two months ago or so, we were talking about them as maybe the best goalie tandem. So how quickly things can change. And also the Wild have allowed the most goals in the entire league since the beginning of February and the third most goals allowed per game over that stretch. So pretty mind-boggling that this is happening in such a quick time. And I just don't know what they do, right? I think you look externally. Marc-Andre Fleury makes sense. Does he want to go? Does he want to wave to go there? And, of course, Semyon Varlamov with the New York Islanders. So certainly something to keep tabs on moving forward. Uh, over at NHL Fantasy, Pete, we get tons of questions on a daily basis on social. Among them, who are some players to target that could be on the move between now and the deadline that are worth picking up right now. Certainly we like a couple guys, Ricard Raquel, Phil Kessel, Mark Giordano, Andrew Kopp, Max Domi, but we've identified two players and one of them will go back to Arizona on the well there. Jacob Chikrin we think is going to be on the move between now and March 21st, right? I mean, he might be. It depends on the direction of the team. We know that it's going downward, but they are scoring goals lately and uh, performing well in these situations, these spoiler situations with a couple of wins against the Avalanche recently. Um, Chikrin last year, don't forget, he led all defensemen with 18 goals and was tied for 10th at the position in points. So uh, he was elite just last season. Of course, a lot less talent this year in the desert compared to last year with all the trades they made in the off season. So he's been kind of a man on an island there. So it's been tough for him. And then also Jake DeBrusque, right? Nick, he's been heating up yep. for the Boston Bruins. Eight goals in the past uh, eight games for Jake DeBrusque. And this is an interesting file because, again, he requested a, a, a deal like three months ago. And, but you know, it doesn't mean Boston has to trade him. Uh, trade him. I think that's important to bring up. The Bruins in a playoff spot right now. We think they're going to get into the Stanley Cup playoffs. To me, this seems more like a move that they entertain in the offseason. But we'll see what happens. He's been on fire, Pete. And he's getting a top line showcase, which right now you can't pass up on DeBrusque. I added him about a week ago. He just keeps this thing going. Good shot volume in that stretch you mentioned, 26 shots in his past eight games. And playing on the top line with Patrice Bergeron and Brad Marchand will help his stock if he stays with the Bruins and most certainly will help the Bruins get the most out of him uh, in terms of trade return before the deadline if they go that route.